Today's lesson will be a quick one. I'm going to be heading out with a kid today. It's on a Sunday. And I don't normally post on a Sunday, but I wanted to go ahead and put a timer in for our lasers so we have some sort of delay in between shots. And right now we're doing that with the, the can fire. We just have a bull saying whether or not we can fire. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a float. And again, no need to make it public, so I'll just make it a serialized field so we can look at it in the inspector. And I'm just going to call it fire delay. I'm going to start that off for two seconds. I know that's too slow but it'll emphasize in the video um, the delay itself. And of course, I'll just go ahead and lower it in the inspector later. And of course, it's also seasoned to taste. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I don't want an update in this script. That's why I'm doing it this way. All right, so we come down here to the fire laser. We're going off, we're saying, hey, if we can fire, we're gonna go ahead, set position one, set position two, or zero and one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, enable the line renderer, which is that laser. We're gonna go ahead and turn the lights on for our laser. And then we're going to go ahead and say, no, we can't fire again until, you know, this gets set to true. Uh, then we're turning the lights off. This actually shouldn't be here. This should actually be up here. And then when we come down here, we're going ahead and turning the line render off and turning the lights back off. I'm going to create one more method down here. It's going to be void, and I'm just going to say can fire. Now take note that we're using a capital on the C for the function name and a lower C for the variable name. I'm not going to take any parameters. And all I'm going to say is can fire with the small c is equal to true. So we can fire again. Then in here, I'm just going to use that invoke method. And the method I want to invoke is that can fire. And the time I want to be is the fire delay. So after going ahead and shooting the laser out, putting the lights on, then turn the, the laser lights back off, I can actually go ahead and have a separate delay for the time in between when the lights go back off on the laser to when I can actually fire again. So that means we also have to get rid of it down here. We'll save that off. Uh, let me go up here. By default, campfire is set to true. I'm actually gonna come in into start in case I ever, for some reason, restart the game. I wanna make sure that in the start, the, the campfire is set to true. And this is an easy way to do it. So I'm gonna save that off. We'll jump back into Unity, let it recompile, and go. So we'll start it up. Of course, when we fly around, we still have our trails. We still have our lights. And now we can fire. And if I keep hitting the space bar as fast as I can, you see the lasers? They only go off every two seconds. And we are getting the light as well. Let me zoom in on that. So there we go. You can see it up here. The world's simplest timer. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>